Hey, welcome to Tool Spec. So we have a camping trailer and unfortunately your fridge stopped working. Well, it might be a super easy fix. I'll show you how to fix that. So on those three-way fridge, usually you can run them electricity or gas. And uh, what's happening, it's if this light here is solid, everything's working good. If this light here is blinking, then your problem is electrical. And if this other light would be blinking, if we would have it on gas for some reason, and this start to blink, then that means that there's gas issue. Now, if you're on gas and this light at the bottom is blinking, then the easiest way to test what's going on will be to open your stove here and turn on one of the burner, doesn't matter which one it is, and then we're gonna try to light it up now at the beginning here we had some air in the system right so air in the system will make this light for the gas here blink sometime now doing this actually drains all of the air and oxygen out of your gas lines so now you have nice propane going to it and that should fix the issue if this is not lighting up then uh, you your tank is probably empty. But if your stove is lighting up, then it might be another issue. We're still talking about gas right now. Let's go and take a look. So underneath this panel here, near your stove vent, you're going to turn those two tabs at 90 degrees like this. And now you can remove this panel. Now this is the hurt of uh, what's going on with your gas and electrical component for your fridge. First let's look at all those components. So here you have the power for your fridge for running it electrical. Here you have your fuel line coming in, your propane line. Here you have your solenoid to let the propane go through. And here, this is your burner box. This is your thermal switch. And the, at the end of this wire here is actually a flame sensor. This is for the Freon for your fridge. And here is your control box. First thing first, make sure that you have power to this plug here. By going inside your trailer, open your breaker panel and your fuse panel so now most trailer here would be front and this is that breaker that's what's powering up your fridge now the most common problem that you're going to come across when uh, you're trying to either run your fridge or run your heater it's actually the flame sensor switch that's not detecting a flame so it shuts off your propane to your system. We can have access to this by removing the screw here. It takes a quarter socket. I already did it and then you take that box down. You will also need to remove this tray here. This is uh, just to collect your moisture. Also takes a uh, quarter a bit or screw. After this is off. Now we can move this tree backwards. It just moves onto the wire here. After this is off, see your flame sensor. This is the little metal rod in the back here. So usually this is all dirty and then what you're going to do so you're just going to either take the screw and then slide it out of there or try to fit your end around here. Now, make sure that you have your fridge turned off before you put your end in there. You don't want it to try to fire when your ends are in here. So now you're going to just put your, uh, your end in here and try to clean that flame sensor good as you can don't force onto this part uh, this is actually ceramic so if you're forcing this part 
crooked here you're going to break it now after this is all clean like this now you can go and turn your power back on your fridge onto gas mode and then uh, see and make sure that the flame goes on and it stays on after you test it and everything goes good if that was the issue then just put your box your screws back in your tray and you're good to go now if that doesn't fix the problem um, or if you're, you don't have gas going in here, that might be the solenoid here. So the solenoid usually with the most common thing will be those uh, little connection here rusting. So just wiggle this back and forth or disconnect it and then reconnect it. And it's going to usually clean up some of the rust if there's rust build up onto those connector or grab your steel wool and clean it and it might do the trick if that doesn't do the trick this also gets is power from your thermal switch here the thermal switch make sure that this pipe here doesn't go above 300 or 350 fahrenheit if it goes above of that it start to be dangerous for fire so this will send a signal and cut off the power here to make sure that your solenoid cannot send any more fuel into your system. If you want to test your solenoid, this clip here, you can just pry it off with a little flat screwdriver and then remove that solenoid and then to the hole where the, uh, the pin for the valve goes through you just put this into it and if it magnetizes if the solenoid magnetizes this then there's no problem with the solenoid on this trailer the problem that i have is the corrosion onto the thermal switch here so usually if i wiggle the wire like this you can hear my solenoid clicking actually and uh, this is just because there's rust build up around the little uh, little clips where the tabs are connected in here. So I need to replace that thermal switch. In order to do this, drill those two rivets out of there and I can replace the thermal switch. And that's uh, usually all of the problem that you might encounter with this. Usually those controllers don't really, they're good forever. I never end up having to replace one of those before. There is this wire here this is for your sensor uh, it might have a little rust build up on this too so you can always wiggle it and disconnect it if you want to check for rust here the other thing too is you see the yellow wire and the green wire here this is actually your ground stud for the system onto that screw so if there is lots of corrosion around there you might want to just remove that screw, clean it up, clean the area of the metal where it sits uh, or the highlight of the wires and then put it back together. And that might be your other issue. As you can see, there's not too much to those systems. They're pretty simple here. Uh, you can find most of those parts on Amazon. And the same go for the flame sensor for your furnace. If your furnace turns on, stays on for like two seconds, then the flame goes up and then tries on again and goes up and tries on again. That's usually the flame sensor. Little bit of steel wool and your problem is gonna be fixed. All right, hopefully that helped. Give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.